of course yes you can actually fade away stretch marks using diys you can actually make your stretch marks look invisible using diys yes you can actually do that and that's what we are going to be making today okay so please stay tuned get your seat get your popcorn keep yourself entertained as we go into that okay hello guys welcome back again to the channel if today is your first time of stopping by you are highly welcome on this channel i do protective hairstyles for kids i do diys i do a lot on this channel so please consider hitting the subscribe button down below so you can join the family okay and thank you as you do that so in today's video guys we are going to be preparing a regimen that can actually help you to fade away stretch marks i always say this you cannot get rid of stretch marks completely unless you undergo a cosmetic surgery unless you undergo a cosmetic procedure that's the only way you can actually get rid of stretch marks completely okay but in today's video i will give you um I will show you home remedies that you can actually use to fade away stretch marks that you can actually use to make your stretch marks invisible in such a way that the stretch marks and your skin color will be the same that nobody will notice that you have stretch marks that's what we are going to be making today so please if you're interested keep watching let's get right into the video so to make the stretch mark treatment you, you need a clean plate also you need a clean spoon for this treatment, I'll be using shea butter. In the previous video I have on my channel about stretch mark, in that video I used Vaseline. And a lot of you were asking me if you can use this, if you can use that, if you can use, you know, a lot of questions. I got a lot of questions um, on that video. So in today's video, guys, I'll be showing you guys some of the ingredients you can use to replace um, the ingredients I used on that video okay like in today's video we'll be using shea butter instead of Vaseline in that video I used Vaseline okay so you can use shea butter and if you don't want to use shea butter you can use coconut oil okay so I went ahead and I added about two tablespoons of shea butter into the plate now I'll go ahead and use the spoon to a kind of break it so after doing that, I'll get another bowl, I'll place it into the bowl. Now I'll go ahead and pour hot water into the bowl. I'll be using double boiler method to melt the shea butter. If you will be using coconut oil, this, is, um, this method is the same, okay? Because you still need to melt the coconut oil, all right? So now I added the hot water. So as the shea butter is melting, I'll go ahead and add other ingredients. First, the first ingredient I'll be adding is ginger. Go ahead and peel a ginger, then use your grater and grate some amount of ginger into the shea butter. You can use ginger, if you don't want to use fresh ginger, you can use powdered ginger, okay? If you will be using powdered ginger, you can go ahead and add about one tablespoon of it so now i'll go ahead and grate in some amount of ginger into the shea butter so now i'm done doing that i'll give it a mix as you can see the shea butter is beginning to melt as you can see it's beginning to melt So after mixing it, the next ingredient I'll be adding here is turmeric. Some of you are asking me what is turmeric. Please, this is turmeric. I don't know how I'll explain this. Turmeric is like, um, it looks like curry, but it's not curry, okay? It looks like curry is used in cooking. So this is turmeric. You also have fresh turmeric, but the one I'm using is powder turmeric, okay? So I added some amount of turmeric into the mixture. Now I'll go ahead and mix. Then after mixing it, the next thing I'll be adding to this treatment is lime. Yes, lime is the next ingredient I'll be adding. So I'll go ahead and cut the lime. Then I'll squeeze in some amount of lime into the mixture. In the other video I made, what I used was 
apple cider vinegar a lot of you were asking me where can you get that where what is apple cider vinegar i don't know how to <laughs> i don't know how to know where you are staying as to tell you where you can get it but you can replace it with lemon or lime okay you can replace apple cider vinegar with lemon or lime okay yeah but if you want to ask where you can get apple cider vinegar you can get it in your shop or in the market so after adding the lime i'll go ahead and mix it very well look at how it's looking i'll go ahead and make sure i mix it very well the next ingredient i will add here is vitamin e oil this is very important this is very important a lot of you were also asking me in the other video what if i don't have vitamin e what if i don't clinical what if i don't buy it what if i you know this is very important this will even help the stretch mark to fade away very fast vitamin e is very important when it comes to this treatment okay guys you can get it in your pharmacy okay just go and ask them um, to give you vitamin E or you can get it in your cosmetic shop. Okay, so after adding some drops of the vitamin E I went ahead and I um, I stirred it then after stirring it the next thing to do here is that I'll go ahead and get a very clean container So here I have my container with me. I'll go ahead and transfer the treatment into the container as you all can see what i made here is not so much i made it in a small quantity because this is diy you know i didn't add any preservatives so i will use it for like one week and any remaining one i will throw it away a lot of you were asking me um, um how many days can i use it you know please when you prepare a diy and you didn't add any uh, preservative use it for some days not more than one week and discard any one remaining so now i'll go ahead and keep this to solidify as you can see it's still in a it's still in a liquid state okay so now this is it it has solidified this is what it looks like did you see now it has solidified if you use coconut oil you will get the same thing after it cools down you still get the same texture or um, the same mixture so this is it guys this is uh, how do you use it you just take um, amount of it and apply it on the places you have the stretch marks then massage massage those places in a circular motion please before applying it make sure you've taken your bath okay so after applying it you can decide to leave it or wash it off after one hour but i don't wash it off i leave it overnight till the next day yes so that is how you use this to fade away stretch marks okay guys that is basically it so guys that is it that is how you can actually use um shea butter and other ingredients to fade away stretch marks to make your stretch marks invisible that is how how you can actually do that at home okay um, this right here will last for me for one week and after one week I will discard it and prepare another one I always I always leave it in my fridge yes and some of you will still come back and be asking me what did you use um, the list of the ingredients and all that come on guys try and watch this video to the end so that you get all the information you want okay don't always come to this um, comment section and be asking me um, things I've already said it will be so ah it's so stressful now how many will I answer and how many will I not answer so please always try to watch the video till the end you will you will get all the information um, you want okay so like this now this, look at I always advise if you're preparing your DIY just make a small quantity that you will use for almost um, that you will use for say a week don't always make um, too much of it because you know it doesn't contain any preservatives so use it one week and you discard it and prepare another one okay for this one i will use it for one week and after one week anyone that is remaining i will throw it away and prepare another one so that is it guys and some of you also ask me ma what if i don't have vitamin e please try and add vitamin e 
try there are a lot of skin benefits of vitamin e in fact it will even that's the major in fact it's also one of the major things that will even help the stretch mark to fade away but if you don't have shea butter you can use coconut oil or you can use um was it you can use vestlane yes you can use coconut oil or vestlane okay there i listed um, um some of the things you can use to replace anyone that you don't have but for this vitamin e is very necessary that you add vitamin e to it okay and another thing you have to know is that skin type differs if you're trying a diy please give it a time okay the result i got within two two weeks you might might take you one month for you to see that result or even two days yes depending on skin types okay so please always give it a time when trying diy yes but one thing i guarantee you guys is that after trying it for one month or three weeks or two weeks depending on your skin type you must see result you must see result okay guys so please if you enjoyed watching this video kindly give me a thumbs up comment subscribe and share this video so that others will see and enjoy with you okay share this with your sisters okay don't be selfish please don't be selfish share with them okay so that will also benefit from this video all right thank you all for always supporting me thank you all for always clicking on my videos i appreciate you all thank you all i will see you all in my next one bye bye